Ruggiero Boyardo, December 8, 1890, October 29, 1984, was an Italian-American mobster. Early life Boyardo was born in Naples, according to his birth certificate, and was raised in the town of Marigliano in the province of Naples. His recorded birth date is December 8, which may not be accurate, as it is also the date of the Feast of Immaculate Conception. He was placed in an orphanage as a child. Catholic orphanages often assigned the dates of important holy days to children whose actual birth dates were unknown. His biological parents also were unknown. He later claimed that he was the illegitimate son of an Italian nobleman who was a descendant of Matteo Maria Boyardo. Boyardo later became known as the Boot a nickname which he developed in his youth had been said to have derived from the heavy-footed way he disposed of his gangland foes. Criminal career in the early 1930s, Boyardo was ambushed and seriously wounded with 12 buckshot pellet wounds. He survived. At the time, the press suspected Abner's Willman was responsible, but later evidence pointed to the members of another rival gang led by the Mazaki brothers, whom the boot subsequently had murdered. None of Richie's gang is above suspicion of planning the murder of their leader, the Newark Evening News reported. There are also said to be men who would like to see Richie out of the way because of certain women who favored him with their regard. Superscript 1 Other likely suspects included the Mazaki brothers, Willie Moretti, and even close friend Al Capone. The number one suspect, however, was Abner Longs Willman, a man sometimes referred to as Gangster Number 2. When the Boots 38 caliber revolver fell to the hospital floor, after the attempt on his life, prosecutors had a case against him. It was an unusual one that appeared to be putting the victim of a crime on trial, rather than the perpetrators. The men who tried to assassinate the boot were never found, at least by the authorities. The police were convinced the boot knew who was behind the shooting. In his hospital room they gave the seriously wounded gangster descriptions of the men who had allegedly shot at him. The boot shrugged and said he didn't know. In the 1930s, Boyardo became a made man, or full member of the Luciano crime family established by Lucky Luciano. In 1957, this family became the Genovese family under boss Vito Genovese. With Willman's death in 1959, Boyardo became the undisputed mob boss of Newark. Boyardo also owned residences in Havana, Cuba and Florida, where he had major gambling interests. In April 1969, Richie Boyardo was convicted of conspiracy to violate gambling laws. Accordingly, Boyardo was sentenced to two one half, three years in state prison and fined one thousand dollars. He was incarcerated on November 18, 1970, at the New Jersey State Prison, Leesburg, New Jersey. The Boyardo family's association with Newark's mayor Hugh Adonizio led to Adonizio's conviction in 1969 on racketeering charges. This eliminated Adnizio as a contender to become the next governor of the state of New Jersey. Adnizio was sentenced to 10 years and served 5 years and 2 months in a federal prison. The same federal grand jury that returned an indictment against Adnizio also indicted 14 others including Richie Boyardo's son Anthony Boyardo, also known as Tony Boy Boyardo. The younger boy Oyardo was believed to have been in control of the Newark underworld at the time. During the criminal proceeding Tony Boy suffered a heart attack. He was never found by the courts to be healthy enough to stand trial on his extortion and conspiracy charges. Throughout the years Boy Oyardo maintained a stable tenure as Newark gang leader and received money from all sorts of enterprises. He owned the demolition firm and also owned the Vitorino Castle, an Italian restaurant frequented by NY Yankees star Joe DiMaggio. He also had stakes in hotels and casinos in Miami, Las Vegas and Havana. With his money he bought a property in Livingston where he built himself a large Transylvanian-like castle. The property was soon the talk of the town. The large iron gate in front was guarded by armed men and next to the entrance stood a couple of colorful statues which represented himself, 
his kids and grandkids. In his old days he most of all liked to work in his garden. He even had a sign hanging on the entrance saying, Godfather's Garden. Deaf Boy Oyardo died of natural causes on October 29, 1984, age 93, and was interred at Holy Cross Cemetery in North Arlington, New Jersey. B O I A R D O had a son, Anthony, Tony Boy, Boy Iardo, C1918197, who was also involved in organized crime. At the time of Anthony's death, he was awaiting trial on an indictment that had resulted in the conviction of Mayor of Newark, New Jersey Hugh Joseph Amnizio. Popular culture David Chase, the creator of the HBO TV series The Sopranos, said the Soprano family was based on the Boyardo crime family, and their crews. Richard Linnett's biography of Boyardo in the Godfather Garden, The Long Life in Times of Richie, The Boot Boy Oyardo, 2013, is based on archival material, classified and unclassified FBI and police files, interviews with Boy Iardo's family and friends, and the personal recollections of the Boot's grandson Roger Hanos. References Bibliography Bureau of Narcotics, U.S. Treasury Department, 2007 Mafia. The Government's Secret File on Organized Crime. HarperCollins Publishers. ISBN 0-06-136385-5. Further reading Cornwell, Rupert. Revealed. The Real Tony Soprano. The Independent. To or he, John William. New York Stories Part 1. AmericanMafia.com.